for either of you, have you seen that side of leanness before as it, it, it came out with Kachuk there at the end? Yeah, it's got to be something in the water, uh, the goalie's water bottles this year. Uh, they all seem to want to be in the mix. But um, I, I just think motions run high this time of year. And um, you know we've always had the mentality of sticking up for one another. Uh, just another great example of that. Jake, when you left in the first period, did you need to go for repairs, or did the spotter take you out? Uh, it was more so repairs. Yeah, I, uh, Dusty, one of our trainers, kind of, kind of freaked out a little bit on the bench because there was a lot of blood. But uh, just a couple of stitches. Thought it was the ear, but it was a little bit higher than that. But it was uh, uh, kind of woke me up, honestly. Uh, for either of you guys, uh, you talked a lot about about keeping it between the whistles, right? Uh, this series, did it feel like? This was their most concerted effort yet to try to get you guys to snap and break out of that? They seem to thrive on that. Um, you know, they build a lot of emotion in their game, um, you know, after whistles and, and create scrums and a lot of guys that uh, gain momentum from that. Hasn't really been the way that we've played all year. So when, when we can uh, play hard between the whistles and then kind of skate away, definitely uh, allows us to stay in the right mindset uh, to play the, the way that we want to play. But, um, you know, they, they play a very high emotion game uh, all the way through. They're very physical. Um, you know, they like to get into it after whistles. A lot of guys talking, um, you know, and that's their game. They've had a lot of success doing that. Uh, but we've had success playing the way that we play, and we just have to remember to, to stick to that. Brad, Linus got his glove and blocker off. Had that escalated with him and Kachuk, how do you like his odds if they had let, let them go? I mean, he's got the size and reach, you know, but uh, maybe a little less experience than Kachuk. Uh, maybe one day we'll get to see. Jake, from either playing against him or now with him, what makes Taylor Hall such a dangerous playmaker, especially in transition? Yeah, I think um, probably just his speed. I mean, that's the obvious answer. I think it's one of those things that... He obviously reads plays very well, you know, coming through the neutral zone. And uh, there was a couple of plays, even the last couple of games, where um, he could make it with high uh, distress. So uh, nice to see him get rewarded. You know, he's working hard and going to the hard areas. And it's one of those things that, um, you know, we need everybody at this time of year. And uh, it was good to see him. And, uh, you know, obviously you can see his confidence even that breakaway goal. You know, it's one of those things where it's a little thing, but uh, I kind of put the nail in the coffin. So it was good to see him get rewarded. And, uh, you know, used to watch him growing up, too. I remember his first time at development camp, actually. So it's cool to see him uh, evolve. Couple, if I could, first, uh, Jake, on the Orlov pass, did you, did you, did that surprise you? Did you see it coming? Uh, I actually didn't see it coming right away. I had to kind of stop and adjust, but uh, it was right on my tape. So um, it was a really nice play, obviously a great entry there, and uh, just tried to get to the net, and he found me. It was a perfect play. Yeah. And I'd like to hear from you both on this. Kachuk, you know, we've heard some of the stuff he's been saying on tape, which we can't put in the newspaper. Do you think you, he has crossed the line here? In, in, in the smack that he's talking? I think the NHL uh, and the, um, the media outlets have crossed the line by allowing that, uh, those mics to continue to play uh, and try to go down and listen to what's said on the benches while that's going on. There's a reason guys don't want mics on the bench and that's why, is because they're gonna take advantage of it at some point, and they did. Um, regardless what's said by Tchuk or by other guys, there should never be an instance where a mic picks up any of that stuff. What, what's said on the ice and what's said on the benches should be there. That's the way that guys play, especially come playoff time. And the fact that the media outlets allowed that to happen, it's very disrespectful to the agreement that we have in place. And that's how guys are going to want to push to take them off the bench and take to get the guy in the middle of the bench away out of there because it's going to get guys in trouble. And uh, it's not fair and it's not right. Point taken, Brad, and I respect it. But on the same hand, I'll still go back to the original question. Has he crossed the line with what he's said? <sighs> See, that's the thing is without – there's a lot of things that are said and uh, a lot of things like what he said that are said all game long and throughout the years, but you don't pick it up because of the mics. So, again, I'll go back to there shouldn't be mics in that situation. And, um, you know, so, no, that's part of the game.